big stories and breaking news first. This is KC24 News at 6, Central Valley's news station. Go. Our top story firing away against the competition. More rounds of testing today against Dragon Skin Body Armor. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Brennan for Rich Ron Riggers. And I'm Stephanie Barugian. Pinnacle Armor is continuing to battle back against the Army's claims that Dragon Skin isn't safe for American troops. Adam Sexton joins us from the newsroom with an exclusive report on the significance of today's test. Adam. Stephanie, the dragon skin controversy centers primarily on its lowest level rifle defeating body armor, known as level three or level four. But all along, Pinnacle Armor has produced a level five body armor, something so advanced it is classified by the federal government. Today, we got a sneak peek at what it can do. As the U.S. military continues to cast doubt on dragon skin, Pinnacle Armor isn't backing down. Today, a fresh demonstration of what its cutting edge body armor can do. In a feature test for the National Geographic Channel, Pinnacle unveiled its most advanced dragon skin vest, known as Level 5, and put it head to head against the most advanced plate armor vest, a three quarter inch steel plate, and a one inch steel plate. Three high velocity rounds traveling at just under a mile per second were fired at each target. The bullets passed cleanly through the steel plates. The plate armor was equally ineffective. It gave no resistance. The rounds pierced the armor and passed all the way through the mannequin. Only dragon skin stopped these highly lethal bullets. Pinnacle Armor CEO Murray Neal says even though the military says dragon skin is defective, the federal government has ordered him to keep the specifications of level 5 dragon skin a secret. Just so we can get this straight, the military the army says it's not safe, but dragon skin level 5 is classified. Yes, sir. So that's kind of a contradiction there. Kind of an oxymoron, if you would, yes. Neil says he's still waiting to hear from Congress about an investigation into the body armor issue, but he adds it will have a hard time finding anything to compare to what National Geographic and KC24 recorded today. It's currently, there isn't a, a level five body armor system out there but the dragon skin. Murray Neal calls the rounds used in this test nasty, and today they lived up to their reputation. A jacket fragment from one of the bullets fired at the one inch steel plate ricocheted off the ground and struck the host of National Geographic's show in the shin. He suffered a minor wound and is expected to make a full recovery. Pinnacle Armor says it expects some kind of congressional hearing on the body armor issue before June 6th. Live in the newsroom, Adam Sexton, KC24 News.